Hey everyone, just a quick word before we get started on this beer review. If you're interested in purchasing any of these beers that you see on my channel, stick around to the end of the video and I will tell you where you can purchase them at online. Now isn't that lovely? Have beer shipped right to your home and don't have to go anywhere. All right, enjoy the video. Cheers to that. Welcome, my friends. Here we are once again to sample some more great tasting American craft beers with Dr. D. Fantastic, baby. Now for our sampling pleasures and tasting delights today. Oh, I bet this is going to be good. It's got a lot of condensation on here. Let me wipe it off so it doesn't slip out of my hand. Yeah, now this is from the Flying Fish Brewing Company. They're located in Somerdale, New Jersey. And this is the Abbey Double. Oh, it's not for lightweights. I wrote down here, it's 7.2% alcohol by volume. Now, my good friend Jonathan used to send me beers from this brewery. And I may have had this before, but I don't recall if I have or not. We'll go ahead and save the bottle cap because I like what it looks like. It's got a little fishy on there. Let's go ahead and open this up very carefully. Got to open beers carefully and never know what might happen. There's our little fishy friend. We'll save him. And let's use this beer glass for the occasion. It's a fluted glass. And let's see what happens. Oh, you know, that's a lot lighter than I thought it would be. I thought that would be pitch black. I thought it would be midnight black. It's more of an amber. Oh, does that smell lovely? Ooh, that's got some nice roasted malt. Not dark roasted, but it's got some nice roasted malt. It smelled like a little bit of chocolate in there. Uh, that went up my nose a little bit. Pardon me. <laughs> well, isn't that a lovely deep amber color? Doesn't it look beautiful? That's almost uh, a ruby color. Is beautiful? Well, maybe not ruby. Uh, let me change that to mahogany. Yeah, it's got a nice uh, bit of tan foam on there. We could uh, definitely bring that up a little bit. Let's just go ahead and put our little stir stick in there. you got to be so careful because you don't want to over agitate the beer because it'll run up over your cup. Your cup will run it over. <laughs> now, that's how I like to see a beer pour. Isn't that lovely indeed? Let's see what kind of aroma that we can pick up other than on the initial aroma. Oh, man. I think this is going to be a good one. I don't remember Jonathan sending me. Oh, my goodness. My kitty cats are in here again. What's the matter, little boy? Oh, he wants his dinner. You want your dinner? Oh, my goodness. Let me put this beer over here. Because we might knock it over. Yes, we might knock it over. <laughs> yeah, I just don't remember Jonathan sending me this beer. Oh, look at him. Here he comes. What do you want, you little boy? You want to be in the video? Is that what you want? Oh, my goodness. Oh, let me finish the video and I'll feed you. Okay, little boy. Thank you. All right. Many cheers to the brewers there at the Flying Fish Brewery in Somerdale, New Jersey. And many cheers to you at home for watching. Cheers. Wow. Ooh, that'll wake you right up. And what did I say the alcohol? 7.2. Yeah, that'll wake you up. <laughs> oh, man. I wouldn't say those are really dark roasted malts, but they are roasted malts, a little bit of caramel, and some lovely chocolate in there as well. I wish it had a little bit more chocolate. I need a little bit more sweetness in there. Uh, this beer is malty, though. It's definitely malty. And it is it has a uh, a bit of a bitter finish to it now that it's on my palate for a minute. I like more of a uh, sweet. I like more of a sweet finish with this style of beer right here. But it is a lovely looking beer. Now this beer would go well with meat dishes, with steaks, no doubt about it, and. Um, or it would be a good digestive after a good steak meal. But this beer is dark and it is uh, roasted malts and it would go well with meat dishes. As a standalone beer, yeah, after dinner. I wouldn't have this before dinner, 
After dinner, this is a good beer to sit around. Uh, this would be especially good on a uh, cold winter night. Mm. This is a sipping beer for me because I want to taste all the liquid loveliness in this beer. Oh, it's quite good indeed, man. Now, Flying Fish uh, is a brewery in New Jersey that I've become fond of because my good buddy has sent me many beers from this brewery. So if you get a chance, I highly recommend that you try this. If you like uh, roasted malt, not dark roasted malt, but it's roasted malt, a little bit of caramel off in the distance, and some lovely chocolate, then you will love this beer, no doubt about it. And like I said, I would recommend it as a beer to drink with a good steak or after the meal as a digestive. Oh, my goodness, my little baby boy. Listen to him. I never feed him. I starve him to death. Listen to it. Anything else you want to say? Oh, my goodness. Oh, um, this is what happens when you have cats. I have three cats, and uh, <laughs> they tell me when it's time to eat. When they meow like that, it's time to eat. So I'm going to run out of here. But I tell you what, if you never had this beer, go ahead and try it. You'd be pleasantly surprised if you like uh, roasted malts, chocolate, and caramel. I think you'll love this beer. It's uh, a little bit on the, um, what do I want to say here? A little bit on the bitter side, though. I wish it was a little bit more on the sweet side. But it is what it is, my friends. Life is short. Let's be happy. And until we meet next time, here's wishing all of you. The very best of goodbyes. And as always, cheers. Okay, everyone. As promised, Dr. Dave's going to tell you where he buys his beers and where you can buy them also. First on the list is RivalryBrews.com. Now, don't worry. I'm going to put the links in the description box for you. Rivalry Brews is a relatively new mail order place. It's based right here in Ohio in Medina. And they are fantastic. I tell you what, when they first started, I got free shipping on all the beers. Now I think they, they charge me $2. $2 for 12 beers. That's fantastic. Now, as far as I know, they ship to the lower 48, but you might want to check the website on that. I can't be 100% sure. But the shipping is fast. The turnaround is fast. And if anything's wrong, they will fix it right away. I only had one issue with them. And they refunded half my purchase order, which I thought was more than fair. More than fair. So anyway, uh, by the way, disclaimer, I don't get any money on any of this. I'm not affiliated with any of these beer companies. They don't know I'm doing this. I'm just telling you where to buy the beer. Now, one day I may be affiliated. And if I am at that point, I'll certainly let you know. So Rivalry Brews, located right here in Ohio. They specialize in Ohio beers. Uh, beers from Pennsylvania and Indiana. So if you want some good Ohio craft beer, that's a good place to start. The second one on my list, oh, I love this place. It's called Halftime Beer. Halftime Beer has two locations in New York State, Poughkeepsie, and I believe it's pronounced Mamoronic. Mamoronic. Yeah, don't quote me on that pronunciation. I tried my best. Yeah, anyway. They have more beer online than you could possibly look at in a day. I'm telling you, they have beer everywhere on that website. And all you have to do is go on there, make your selection, and have it shipped. Now, they do have gift boxes, which come with a really nice cooler. Yeah, and uh, you can't beat it. It's $5 shipping on those uh, special orders. Now, on the other beers, the shipping can get a little bit pricey, but I've never had an order for more than $20 shipping, which I think is really good for 12 bottles of beer. Now, if you get cans, it's less cost because it, less, it weighs less, uh, and that's what costs the money is the weight and the size of the box. So, yeah, check them out. Now, I belong to two of their uh, what's known as Beer of the Month Club. I'm in their German Beer of the Month Club, so I get 12 bottles from six different breweries, two of each, once a month. And there's a lot of beers in there that I've never heard of from Germany. I thought I had them all, not even close. And then I have the Around the World Beer Club, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's beers from all over the world. 
so far, I only got one beer that I didn't really like. Uh, you know, it happens. It happens. And, uh, you know, you take your chances on that. But uh, I got some beer from South Korea, of all places, South Korea. I thought it was really, really good. Now, last on the list, but not least, and I didn't put these in any particular order, it's the Best Damn Beer Shop. Now, they're out of San Diego. And they have a killer selection, I'm telling you. Matter of fact, talking about all this beer, I'm going to have to have one here. Mm. That's just a regular run-of-the-mill Pilsner, German style, but it hits the spot on a day like this. Anyway, best damn beer shop. Woo! Now, their shipping, they require you to uh, choose in lots of six. So you can get six, 12, 18, 24 is the maximum. And uh, their shipping is reasonable, considering I'm on the East Coast and they're on the West Coast. Yeah, the shipping is generally about $19 for a 12-bottle selection, which I don't think is a lot. $19? No, I don't think that's a lot. Now, the more beer you buy, the less money it's going to cost. That's just a fact of economics. So if you want to buy six beers, it's going to cost more to ship it than the 12. Hey, I, I don't make the rules, man. Just buy more beer. You save more money on shipping. What can I tell you? Yeah, but they're a great place. And uh, so all, all three of those places, Rivalry Brews uh, for Ohio beers. And then you have the uh, Halftime Beverage, which is in New York. They have a selection on everything. And same thing with Best Damn Beer Shop. Now, if you want some West Coast beers that you can't find in your town, that's the place to buy them at. Last but not least, people always ask me, what is that on your beer glass? Well, I bought it at Amazon, Amazon Amazon.com. It's called a Vacuvin, Vacuvin. And if I'm not mistaken, it's from uh, Sweden, if I'm not mistaken. And the inside of it is lined with special material. So what you do is you put this in the freezer, you let it sit overnight, and then you put your beverage in here. And it will maintain that beverage at around 38 degrees, which is really cold for a beer. But I like my Pilsner's cold. Now, if you already have a beer that warmed up, put it in here and it'll bring it to the proper temperature, no doubt. And I said last, but I I was mistaken. This is the last thing I want to talk about. Uh, Dr. Day's beer glasses. Now, I did sell these a number of years ago when I had my other beer channel. and. This is a new design, though. This is a different design. Now, I could sell these if there's enough interest in them, but I have to order them uh, about 144 at a time. So I don't want to order them unless there's some real interest in them. Now, it's difficult to see on here, but it says Dr. Dave's Cheap-Ass Beer Reviews. Yeah, uh, it's not really going to come out that well there on the camera, but I would sell these uh, at cost. Now, I'm not trying to make any money on them. I think it cost me $14.98 to uh, to have those made. So I would sell them at the same price. Now, I don't know if the price could have gone up because I did buy those a few years back. So, But I would sell them at cost if anybody's interested. But uh, like I said, I don't get any money off these links. There's no affiliate, uh, affiliate links here. I'm not making any money. I just wanted to let everybody know where I buy my beer so you could buy it too. Oh, and you know, I almost forgot. The Amazing Clubs Beer of the Month Club. Amazing Clubs. I'll put all the links in the description box. Knock yourself out. Hey, thanks for watching, okay? And Dr. Dave says cheers to that.